Hey guys, welcome back to a new tutorial on this channel. Today we are creating this Windows 95 sketch wireframe that you can use to just have some fun, to create funny projects, websites, user interfaces using this Windows 95 UI. You can download this in the video description or just build it with these steps that I'm going to describe right now. So stay tuned and follow the tutorial. So now Let's get into the design. So what we need is a new artboard. I'm basically going for the desktop HD version. And what we are going to do now after I enabled the keystrokes is to set a background color. Simply tick this right here and add a background color. In this case, we will use and yeah, design for Windows uh, 95. And we need a bluish background that's somehow looking like the old Windows uh, 95 version. Maybe somehow like this or... Yeah, I think that looks good. The next thing that we will need is a rounded rectangle. So hit U to create one of these. So we need that right, right here. Drag it to the center. Of course, you can also just use these icons, these buttons right here and we are setting a background color a nice little gray make it a bit darker like the normal one and we don't need any borders now let's add some more stuff because this will just be the background this will just be like the mask that we are using so hit r to create a new rectangle and drag it uh, at the top of our mask and now let's go to the layer panel and say we want to use this as a mask and this is like our top bar or something like that this is the background now delete the border and give it a darkish bluish color like that and maybe let's make it a little bit bigger so now what we are going to do is to create a small rectangle that is going to be placed at the top left. So hit U again and just place it around here like that. We are simply adding elements that give us an impression of how the user interface looked like back then in Windows 95 pretty long time ago but I think it's still funny to just look at it and to just see uh, what it looked like when we maybe designed a wireframe or a prototype back then. Now let's go to the right side and of course we need some icons right here for uh, closing the window, for minimizing it and so on. And we are simply copying this one for now and dragging it over to the right side like this. We can make it smaller. Let's change the height as well. And maybe let's make it grayish like that. This looks like a normal Windows uh, part to me right here. And let's copy this element, make it dark. And now let's, oops, drag it and make it smaller. These are basically the buttons that we are going to use for our design. So let's make them smaller. Let's make the radius to four, change the radius to four pixels. And let's make it even smaller and position it correctly like that. Now we can simply copy it. And these are, as I said, uh, buttons to close the window, to minimize it and so on. Like you are used to it from Windows 95, I'm sure. Like almost everybody used it or saw it before. Now we need some content for this part right here. What we are going to add are two parts like one on the left, which will be a navigation, and on the right we will have a content area, maybe a table or something like that. 
Let's just group this up and call it top. And the next thing is, as I said, the content area. What we are just using is this basic element that we used before. The copy it and place it below, change the color to a dark gray. We can, of course, just use this one. And I would like to change the height and this will basically be like a headline for the content that we are creating. So let's copy it again for the right part. So this will be the headline for the menu and this is the content uh, area. So now we can simply copy both of them again like that and we can uh, make them bigger. Now let me change this real quick like that. And this one right here, both of them should be positioned or aligned next to the list, next to the menu. Make this bigger as well, like that. And both of these elements should have a light gray or white color, like that. Let's align this. Maybe we can change the color again to make it a little bit, lit, a little bit less vibrant. And within these boxes, within this menu right here, we will place some items. So again, just copy this top element and drag it all the way to the, oops, sorry, drag it all the way to at the top or in front of uh, this background layer. And this will basically be like an icon indicating one of these menu items, like that. Look that the width and the height have the same amount of pixels. We can of course also make it bigger. And I would like to change the color to a vibrant blue. This is basically the first element of our menu. And we can copy it. And now here will be the text of, oops, of the menu just like that, reduce the height a bit and change the position like that. Let's give it a grayish color. And now what we're going to do is simply select both of them, copy them and paste them below like that. Now let's change the color of this one Oops. And make it yellow. Give it vibrant colors, as I said. And the last one should maybe be also blue or green or something like that. Any color you want. Let's go for the green. And on the right, there will be a table. So what we basically do now is to copy this element from the top and drag it all the way to the top of our layer list because this will be the top headline uh, like header of our table. Make it a bit bigger and now let's add some oops. Now let's add some columns to this. That of course it's too big so we select all of them and make them smaller like that but of course we could also make or make individual uh, widths for these columns so maybe one is bigger one is smaller or something like that so it looks about like this let's align it a little bit and now we are adding some content. Sketch somehow has some of these problems right here. So as you see, we have a dark rectangle in the background, but uh, now it's gone. And what we're going to do is to select these elements, these column headlines. We copy them and paste them below. And we do that again, like that. And now 
we change the color of uh, all of these elements to a light gray that we used before on the left side on these menu items. Now we can change the width of the content. Of course it should look a little bit customized. Maybe somehow like that. And that's basically a wireframe, a prototype that you can use to uh, build funny Windows uh, 95 applications. So I hope you enjoyed this small little fun tutorial and if you have any questions shoot them down in the comment section below this video and of course you'll find also the download link of this file in the video description. So thank you for your time guys and enjoy your week. See you!